What's up guys, my name is Aaron, today I'm going to be reviewing Mother. Mother is a horror movie written and directed by Darren Aronofsky and it stars Jennifer Lawrence, Javier Bardem, Ed Harris, and Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm not going to really go into the summary because I feel like it's kind of misleading. I'll just kind of throw it up there, but I wouldn't really go based off of the summary itself. But I guess it's a horror movie. I was looking forward to this because I think Darren Aronofsky is a really great director. Black Swan's probably my favorite of his, but I think all of his movies are really kind of thought-provoking and um, just really different from a lot of different filmmakers. I guess he has his own style that even if it's not a great movie, I think it's always an interesting movie. This cast is stacked. Um, I'm not like a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan, but I think she's a solid actress. Javier Bardem is, of course, really great. Ed Harris and St. Michelle Pfeiffer, again, was kind of cool after that kind of hiatus. It's a really cool thing to see her in a movie like this. I don't know. This movie is really, really weird. Like, uh, this is probably the weirdest movie I've seen in a theater. Like, this is off the ball, like, nuts, I think. Definitely the best part of it is, like, the technical aspect of it. Darren Aronofsky really knows how to create this, like, sense of, like, atmosphere with, like, um, like, paranoia and anxiety and stuff like that. And the way that he kind of does that with the claustrophobic vibe of the house is really well done. The movie is always centered on Jennifer Lawrence's face, so it's always like an intense close-up of her face, or it's like her POV whenever she's walking around the house, and it really just creates like this really kind of unsettling atmosphere. Um, it really heightens the tension and stuff of the movie. Also, that combined with like the sound design or the kind of lack of traditional music was really unsettling. There's really not any music that plays in the movie. It's always like this like little tinging sound that kind of plays every like three seconds or so. It really kind of heightens the sense of dread and just like tension in the movie. It really kind of adds to that and really makes it feel a lot more um, unsettling and stuff and um, even though it kind of gets tedious because you're really not given like a kind of reprieve at all during the movie um, I really understand why Aronofsky went that direction with the movie and it was an interesting choice I would say. I do think that acting is pretty great across all boards like Ed Harris is solid in this movie, Michelle Pfeiffer is solid, um, she's really memorable in this movie. I think Jennifer Lawrence is solid too I think that she kind of goes into that yelling thing that I'm not like a huge fan of but her reaction and stuff like that to the madness that she's seeing throughout the movie. I think she did a really good job with that and um, just her facial expressions are really expressive during those scenes. I do think Javier Bardem is probably the strongest aspect of this movie. He has like a really tricky role and him kind of going through these different like modes. I think he did a really good job of that aspect of it and he came across really believable and unsettling and menacing and he just does that so well. I think when the movie goes into its third act like it's a clear third act that you'll see like once you see it you'll know what I'm talking about. It gets crazy like I don't think I've ever seen like a third act of a movie go that crazy and like I'm a huge fan of David Lynch and I think this is crazier even by his standards. It's just like chaotic like frantic like unfiltered filmmaking. The things that I was seeing in that third act was just like I've never seen anything like that. It just there was like no stops at that point. Like it was just like crazy thing after crazy thing after crazy thing after crazy thing. Like I'm still trying to like kind of decompress what I was watching when I saw that. But that was definitely like a highlight of the movie. I would say like it's definitely like the most memorable part of the movie. Just how like unsettling it was and just the things that he was saying like. There's like a lot of ideas and themes and like personal struggles that Aronofsky is clearly dealing with it during that point. And it's really evident kind of the allegories and the metaphors that he's trying to convey. And I think that was definitely like the highlight of the movie for sure. Where I think the movie is kind of weak is that up to that point, the movie is really t tedious and kind of repetitive. Um, it's basically Jennifer Lawrence walking around the house and then she sees something that's kind of unsettling and then she kind of like looks at it and then she like walks away to another part of the house it might be like something that she sees like on the floor or it might be some like guest acting weird in the house and it just gets kind of tedious to me like it's just that happening over and over again I guess um it kind of peaked up a little bit when Donald Cleese's character kind of showed up because it was like I really didn't know what was happening during that scene and I think he did a good job with that role but um I was just really kind of like I guess bored by like how repetitive that part of the movie was and even like a couple kind of left after like the first initial like 10 or 15 minutes so I think that aspect of it might be a little trying on people just like the repetitiveness of that sequence. 
Um, it kind of escalates as it goes on, but it is kind of repetitive, I would say. I do think this is a interesting movie. I will definitely say it's at least good. I don't know if I would like rush out to see this movie though. Like I think people might be upset at the type of movie that you're gonna see. Like if you're expecting like a straight up horror movie with Jennifer Lawrence, this is not it. Like I don't even think these characters even had names in this movie. This is definitely like an art house like experience and it's not gonna be for everybody. So I would if I was gonna watch it, I would wait for it to come out on like DVD or on streaming or something like that and give it a watch there so you're not like as disappointed I would say if you're not like a huge fan of it. I think it's a, at least a good movie. I think the pacing of it is kind of tedious and repetitive but the payoff is really great. I think it's really out there and it's probably the craziest thing I've seen. There are really strong performances in this and I think Javier Bardem is really great in this movie and I just think the technical aspect of it is really great. Like you can see that Aronofsky is just like operating at like the peak talent that he has and he's just going super crazy in this movie but I think the pacing kind of slows it down so I think overall right now I would give it like a 7 out of 10. I would kind of have to watch this movie again to kind of get like a clear like rating but for right now I think a 7 out of 10 is probably like the best I can give this movie for right now. So yeah those are my thoughts on Mother. What are your guys thoughts? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments what you thought and thanks for watching. Thanks guys.